we have to deal with that all the time. And we want our patients to feel comfortable. We're there to help them. And this is where I get back to the genetic aspect. There's some discussion that makes it sound like, oh, it's just processed food. It's just this. But they aren't recognizing the genetic piece. What happens is your brain has a set point where it thinks your weight should be. When I first got into medicine, they sort of poo-pooed that concept. But more and more data has showed it's absolutely true that that set point's influenced by a number of things. When you're in utero, it's influenced by the obesity status of the mother. If you enter your adolescent growth spurt heavy, and if you're obese or higher in your adolescent growth spurt, when you start it, the chances you're going to be morbidly obese later in life. So it's influenced by a number of those things. Those things aren't the fault of the person. If somebody had a, a morbidly obese mother and they've got that epigenetics and all the things I've told you about, we need to help them even more. It doesn't do any good to fat shame them. They need help. One way not to help them is to, to make them feel even worse about it. That is not the way to get help. So with my patients, I use this as an example. When I was a kid, I had asthma. I mentioned that before. I was in the hospital all the time. So that's a genetic problem that I have. Now I can decide to ignore it and say, I'm going to go be a hay baler, but I'm going to be in trouble all the time. So what's, what's a healthier approach or a, a more mature approach is to say, I have that issue. I need help with that issue. And I think as a society, we need to recognize that. And, and, you know, we talk about the processed food. A lot of these kids are being raised on processed food, but they didn't, they didn't pick that. So we really need to be compassionate and we need to be realistic. And like I said, we need all hands on deck. And I think it's not one or the other. It's all of the ones that, that actually can make a difference.